Guess what? I got breaking news in from Manuel this time. And you know what he told me? If you know how to graph lines, you will know how to graph inequalities. The only difference is you will have to know how to shade, which is pretty easy. We all can color in, right? Okay, we have y is less than or equal to 2x plus 5. You want to pay attention to this inequality right here, but other than that, you treat it just as if you were graphing a linear equation. How do we do that? Well, remember we've learned about y equals mx plus b, right? Where this is our slope and this is our y-intercept. It's the same concept. This would be your slope, 2, and 5 would be your y-intercept. Remember, if it's a whole number, you can go ahead and put a 1 under it, like that. And now we can go ahead and graph. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me erase this down here for you really quick. Okay, we start at our y-intercept. I call our y-intercept our starting point. We know that it's going to start on 5 on the y-axis. So I'll go ahead and put a point right there. Then our slope tells us we go rise over run, which means we go up 2 and we run to the right one time. 1, 2, and then we run to the right. Great. Then we start at our next point and we go up 2 and run to the right. Perfect. Okay. Here's the difference now between a linear equation and an inequality. The first thing that you have to see is if it's less than or equal to or just less than. Here it's less than or equal to. Whenever you see the line under the inequality, always know that it's going to be a solid line right across. I'm not going to use a ruler, but go ahead at home and use the ruler. Let me see here. I've been tutoring for a long enough time now where I can go ahead and draw a straight line. And we'll go ahead and draw that straight line, straight across, like that. Perfect. And it's a solid line. You guys go ahead and use a ruler at home. Now, we want to see where we shade. Because when we're graphing inequalities and we shade, we have to decide if we shade up or down. Here's the secret that I use. It says y is less than. So it means everything that's less we'll go ahead and get shaded. So if we look at our y-intercept and go up, do the numbers get greater or do they get less? They get greater, right? And if we go down, they get less. It's saying y is less, so now we know we go ahead and shade down. We go to the less. So you want to shade everything in here. Everything below the line. It's a good idea to go ahead and use a different colored pencil or a crayon or a marker if it'll help you out to see which way you shade. Here's one other thing that the teachers might have you do. They might actually tell you to pick a point in the area you that you shaded to make sure that the inequality is true. Let's take 0, 0 for example because 0, 0 falls in the shaded region. Let me see if that's true. I'm going to go ahead and take 0, 0 and I'm going to plug it into my inequality. That would mean 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 5. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. 0 is less than or equal to 5. Okay, is that true? Is 0 less than 5? Well, 0 is less than or equal to 5, so that makes this inequality true, so we know that we shaded in the right region. Good job. We'll do another one.